Alright guys, Sean from The Sean Experiment here, and I love to cruise. I cruise all the time. Uh, I am two days away from Platinum on Carnival, and they're going to do my laundry and bring me chocolate covered strawberries, and I am super, super excited about it. Uh, I've also done Royal Caribbean, I've done Norwegian, and I've snuck booze on every single one, right? How do I do it? Everybody says like, oh man, how do you do that, or I got this little bottle on, or whatever. I'm going to show you some foolproof ways. I have never been caught. And I'm going to show you some foolproof ways to not only get some liquor on board, but to get beer on board as well. So all my beer drinkers out there, I know you're thinking like, how are you going to get beer? Are you going to stuff it in your shorts or something like that? No. I got way better ideas, way better ways to do it. 100% foolproof. You can bring whatever you want on board. So let's get started. First of all, any cruise ship you're on, you cannot bring booze unless, little known secret, you are cruising out of Europe. So if you're in a European port, and trust me, I know this because I was in a European port and I went through all the hassle of buying booze and doing all these tricks and whatever, and it all got on board, but then I go, you know, they didn't even check us for anything because one of the tricks I'm going to show you is with a wine bottle. And I was like, they didn't look at the wine bottle, they didn't say anything, they didn't even act like nothing, it was in my backpack the whole time. And then we looked it up and we asked some questions and we found out if you're cruising out of a European port, they don't have the same booze cruise rules that we do in the United States. So you can just walk on and just go like, I'm just going to bring this bottle. So at every port we went to, we'd bring a bottle back on board, go get us a Coke card, pour it on up. But if you're cruising out of the United States on any cruise line, you are not allowed to bring your own drinks. The old way was, let's go get a 12-pack of water, you get the waters, you pull them out the side, you dump them out, you put them in there. Most of the time that got through. But if they shook the bottle, liquor creates bubbles, water does not. So they would always find out. But that's okay, you could still sneak it on. Cruise ships got smart and they said, you know what, you can't bring your own water on anymore. We will sell you some water at a really great price so that way you can't sneak booze in it. So you can't bring water on most cruise ships now. What you can bring is soda sealed in a can uh, and you can bring uh, I think energy drinks and a few other things like that and you can bring one bottle of sealed wine 750 milliliters per person. And then if you want to uncork it inside the uh, dining room, they can do that for you for a corking fee. Or if you want to just bring it to your room, open it up and have glasses of wine. But we know, or at least I think, wine does not do the trick for me. I'm on a cruise and I'm trying to go hard. And shots of wine aren't the same as shots of fireball, right? <laughs> so uh, I'm going to show you some ways to sneak on some liquor, to sneak on some beer the next time you cruise. So let's check it out. Step number one, old trusty. Everybody brings on shampoo and conditioner, okay? Now you can buy these on Amazon. The link's below in the video to, to one of the options. There's several options. You can do it with suntan lotion, but shampoo and conditioner is pretty easy, pretty simple. It comes in this container. It looks legit. Pull this out for you here. Got a little carrying case. So we have shampoo, protein shampoo, color radiance protecting, 100% natural with argan oil. Bullshit. And then you have a conditioner. So they look very legit. On the back you have ingredients and I mean it's the whole nine, right? Now, when you originally buy them, you just unscrew these here. Uh, I have a funnel somewhere around here. Let me grab that. Perfect. So you just simply grab this, you put your funnel on top, you pour your booze inside, you fill it up all the way to the top so there's not much shake room, and they come with these caps, um, you know, like the sealed for freshness caps. You can buy refills as well, but when you originally buy the bottles, it comes with a pack of them. We've just used them all because we sneak on booze a lot. Um, and then so when you put on the cap, boom, you put it on, then you take this, and you tighten it real tight, and after a few minutes of doing that, and you peel this back off, if they were to open it up, it would be sealed for your protection. Um, I've never had anybody actually pull this out and, uh, and smell it or check it or anything else. You put it in the little bag, you put it with the rest of your uh, goodies, your hair stuff, your hairspray, your deodorant, stuff like that. Gets through every time. So that's simple. These things are huge too. 25 ounces each. So you got 50 ounces for the pair and 50 ounces uh, is a lot of booze. Depends on how long your cruise is. But uh, what we normally do 
The black bottle is a dark liquor, like maybe a whiskey, a Jack Daniel, something like that. The white bottle is a clear, like a rum or a vodka, something like that, so that you know which one is which, because they tend to smell a little bit different when they're inside shampoo and conditioner bottles. But these are clean, easy to use, pretty cheap, um, and, and, and work pretty much every time. So that's one option, okay? Uh, let's see, what's next? So I mentioned earlier, you can bring wine on the cruise, a 750 milliliter bottle of wine. And so uh, I don't drink wine because I'm a man, <laughs> but uh, the, uh, the the bottle I'm gonna use today, I say I'm a man and then I pull up a Coco Pina Fusion vodka bottle that's empty. Um, so I guess I'm really not a man. But uh, so you're gonna get a wine bottle about like this, right? Uh, and I'm gonna basically show you now, there is a trick that's pretty cool uh, that for a wine bottle that has a cork that actually uh, you, that you have to actually pull out. There's a trick you can pull it out and just be super careful because you can put the lid back on. There's a crazy trick with like a plastic bag you stuff in there and pop that out. I'll save that for another video, but it's a super cool trick. But for this, it's just a screw off top. If you're a really expensive wine drinker, maybe your top screws off too. Uh, but if it's not, you can do this with any other wine. So drink your wine, but keep your bottle. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. For a clear bottle, um, a lot of the white wines are clear bottles or like a really light green. Um, honestly, they don't really look on the cruise ship anyway, but if you wanna play the part, it makes you feel better. Uh, if you go clear bottle, get a white wine, then obviously you want to get a clear liquor to play the part. If it's a red wine, um, usually it comes in a darker. I normally go for a really dark green bottle. That way, no matter what you put in it, you can't really see through it anyway. And again, they don't really look, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. You're overthinking it. But um, so you get here, you're either going to drink the wine or you're going to pour the wine out, which is what I normally do into the sink. Make sure it's empty, right? Uh, let's see here. I got my liquor, which in this case is water. Um, you're gonna get these things. I'll put the link in the bottom of the video as well. These are super cool. They're very, very cheap. They're easy to use. We're gonna demonstrate today. Um, but this is a wine bottle like uh, resealant. We're gonna use a blow dryer to put it back on. That's the secret and it's super, super cool. Uh, and it just kind of fits right on the top of there. So uh, first thing first, Boom, you're gonna go here. Once you've dumped out or drank your wine and you got your bottle, uh, get your funnel. You're gonna put your funnel on top of here. You're gonna be super careful. And again, clear liquor, dark liquor, it doesn't matter. Whiskey looks just like red wine when it's in a really dark green bottle. Okay, all the way good. Now you do wanna fill this up pretty close to the top but don't overfill it. You'll find that a lot of wines um, are filled up, not all the, all the way, they give a little bit of shake room, but again, if the bottle is dark enough, then you're not gonna have to worry about it. Put your lid back on, or in the other scenario, you'd put your cork back in, make it real tight. Now, these things are super cheap, they come in like a pack of like a million, I don't know, um, and then you're gonna slide this right on, and see, it just slides right on. Now in this scenario, uh, it could actually probably work, uh, but you're not allowed to bring liquor on, so it's a wine, so it's got little grapes and like vines and whatever, it looks like a wine bottle. So it slips right on, fits pretty universal to any 750 milliliter bottle. And then you get yourself a good old blow dryer. Make sure it's real tight down there. Turn it on hot, turn it on high. You can already see it melting. Okay. Kinda wanna go up and down, twist the bottle a little bit. Okay, and that's it. A few seconds with the blow dryer and this thing is tight. I mean, you can't pull it off. It's really, really cool. It looks brand new. It looks like it's been sealed at the manufacturer. Um, really, really cool there. And then it has a little pull tab. So when you get on the ship to make it even look legit, you're gonna grab this little pull tab here. You'll peel it off like that. If I knew what I was doing. Peel it off like that. 
Boom. And then, you go to the room, you make you a drink. So those pull tabs are a lifesaver. Um, that's a 750 milliliter, milliliter bottle, bottle. Man, I can't talk today. A 750 milliliter bottle per person that you're allowed to bring on the ship. So that is two more bottles of liquor. I don't know how long your cruise is or if you're a full-blown alcoholic and want to just bring on just massive amounts of booze, but we're not even close to done yet. So you got another bottle per person, at least two people or more. Um, you have the shampoo and conditional, two, two bottles. You have the uh, wine with this resealable cap, another two bottles. We're up to four bottles already. We drinking. Okay. No. <laughs> All right, all right. So uh, let's, oh, yeah, let's get that out of the way. Um, let's look at my, uh, my, my, one of my favorites. You didn't even know I already had it on, but I'm wearing it. So I found this a while back. It is officially called the Freedom Flask. Um, link below so you can check it out as well. Again, pretty cheap, super good. This is not good just for cruises. This is good for sneaking booze anywhere. So uh, we brought it to Halloween Horror Nights. We brought it into Disney. Uh, we brought it into uh, sports games, concerts. When you go to a concert and you're spending like 20 bucks a beer, or your mixed drinks are this big and they're like a million dollars. This is perfect for it. It's called the Freedom Flask. If you've never heard of it, I've officially termed it my dick pouch. Let me tell you why. Because it goes on your dick. <laughs> so here's the thing here. It's called a Freedom Flask. It's really, really cool. It has this little spout. Now, usually you wear it inside your shorts, and then you pull, you zipper down, and you give this thing a little twisty twist here. And when you give it a twist, it starts pouring out, and then you twist it the other way, and it tightens back up, and it stops flowing out. Obviously, it clips on your uh, side. You can put it on uh, underneath your underneath your clothes. And so uh, this thing, this baby has had a lot of usage. Uh, on the outside here, you just pop it open. Same thing. You get your joint here. Boom, boom, boom. And you put it in. So... Uh, I'm not going to put any water in it or anything right now, um, but if you see that, it'll hold about a 750 milliliter bottle. Again, pour that in, you seal this up. Once you seal it up, you put it around your waist, you snap it in. I suggest you wear some baggy shorts uh, when you're doing this. Girls, you're probably out of luck. This would look weird. You got a bunch of fupa if this is happening. So uh, maybe you could put it up here and kind of like squeeze it the right direction, but uh, this one might just be for the guys. So uh, this one goes uh, underneath your shorts, whatever, but outside your boxers. And then uh, don't be a fucking weirdo and put it inside your boxers. That's weird. But uh, so you're going to go outside your boxers. Again, you zip down, you pull this little white tab out here, you give it a twist and it starts pouring out. Boom, boom, boom. I've been to many a concert and many a place where all your buddies are like hammered and you zip it out and you just go, yeah, get down there. And you twist that thing and they're like, ah, and they just get drunk because they don't care. But uh, it's super cool. Uh, what I normally do if I go into a place where it's kind of uncomfortable or it's hot, I mean, we live in Florida, so it's like a million degrees. You're at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I go inside, I go ahead and take it off, I unclip it, and then I fold it up and just put it in my pocket and pull it out and just kind of use it like a doop doop and put it in there. But again, this is a whole nother bottle that you can get in. They don't check it because it's on yourself. Everything's made out of plastic, so nothing goes through a metal detector. Um, nobody even knows. You'll be a little paranoid because it does get kind of full. It gets a little puffy when you put the actual uh, liquor in it and if you fill it up all the way. If you put a few shots, not a big deal, but if you put a whole bottle, it does get kind of puffy. But with a... Um, with a pair of shorts on that's a little bit baggy, and then you can tighten this thing up and kind of make sure it's in the in the right direction, you're good to go. So Freedom Flask, five bottles now, we're still drinking. So um, you might say, what if I don't want to drink liquor all day? What if I don't want to wake up at nine o'clock in the morning and have liquor all the time? One, I don't know, you're kind of a pussy. <laughs> Number two, if you want some beer or you want to uh, uh, sit by the pool, if you just want beer and you want to just relax or whatever else, or any drink that comes in the can, here's the next trick. This one we just started using a couple years ago, and I think it's super cool. Um, get any 12-pack of soda, 
uh, Diet Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda if you want. Um, but any Dr. Pepper and soda here, you want to make sure it's sealed uh, and you want to make sure it's a 12 pack. So again, you can bring on a 12 pack per person onto most cruise lines. I think pretty much every cruise line, all the major ones, um, as long as the cans are sealed and the 12 pack is sealed. So um, for this, super easy to do. All you need is of course a 12 pack, you need a hot glue gun and you need some beer. And then we're going to solve that problem. So first thing, get your little butter knife or a knife. You're going to go out here on the edge and just kind of get it started. You want to be careful here, just not rip it. And again, we're probably more paranoid uh, than we have to be. Uh, the people on the cruise ship really don't look that close. So you're going to get you a little knife. You're going to be kind of soft here. Boop, boop, boop. Peeling, we're peeling, a little more knife. All right. So on the inside, just a little bit of glue, which is what we're gonna use to go back in. You're gonna go here, here, here. Now, um, as you guys know, on most 12 packs, on the top here, you have this carry handle. So. Two, um, two of the drinks need to remain the same because you can look through them and see what the, what the can is. I normally use Coca-Cola. The reason why I normally use Coca-Cola is because I use it as a mixer for my liquor that I snuck on. So um, you can buy the Coke card when you're on the, the boat as well. Um, it's normally cheap, much cheaper than the drink card. But you pull out um, your sodas. You get those out of the way and you go, okay, we don't want soda anymore. We're out of here. Um, then you grab yourself some beer. I'm going to be using uh, a local cerveza, Chihuahua. That's what I like to call it. All right, so you get your beers. Now, again, you're going to want to make sure there's at least two of the original Coke that's in here. Um, and then you're going to take these, right? So we're just going to pop these off. Good to go. Obviously, don't get any of the beers that are like really long or tall, like a Michelob Ultra or anything like that. Or you can't you can't snick on your white claws of this, this method, but there's other ways to do that as well. Um, and so we're gonna go in here. So um, we're gonna start stuffing beers in. Middle. Um, are going to be the actual cola. So let's look in through the, uh, the top piece there. So we got Coke there. We got Coke there. And we stuff in the rest and pack it in with the beer and the beer. So you can see on the end, we got beer. Now we're going to shut that up. I shut up the same way, the same direction that it was there. If you look on the inside, it's still Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Okay, so we got Dr. Pepper and cream soda here. Now we're gonna get the hot glue gun. Let it warm up for a couple minutes. And then here, we're just gonna give a little line. Right there. Perfect, a little on the bottom where they had glue, a little on the bottom where they had glue. We should be done with that. Give it a nice little push back down. We normally take something that's a little bit heavy and uh, put it on top, or you can flip it upside down. Obviously the weight of the Coke itself will go there. It dries super fast, you don't have to wait real long, um, and then you're good to go. So of course, in a 12 pack, you need the two that are showing, so you can fit in 10 beers per. Uh, and so we go there, it's all dry now. Brand new, this is a 12 pack of Diet Dr. Pepper and cream soda, okay? So you grab it like this, you walk on the boat, you can only see the two cream sodas and we're good to go. So now we have five bottles of booze and 20 beers, assuming there's only two people in the room. Um, you have 20 beers, five bottles of booze, and you are on a long cruise out in the middle of nowhere. No one has to drive. The club is open all night. Somebody gonna get drunk. Somebody gonna put some ass in the air and some head to the ground, okay? So uh, next cruise, sneak it on. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, let me know. If you have a more creative way to sneak booze on that I've never heard of, leave it in the comments below. 
Check out the links for the products. They're super easy to get. Most of them you just get from Amazon. They're all really cheap. It's going to save you a ton of money on your next cruise. So sneak on the booze. Sean from the Sean Experiment here. Peace.